What's going on, people? Tebs Weekly, episode five. I forgot what number it was then. Um, as you just see, a bit of messing about, swapping the cars over. Uh, it's just something, it's not ideal what we got to do, but that's the space we got, so we just get on with it. Um, following on from last week, we've got the white Adam in the garage now. Um, I'm going to make a start on that, cutting the bumper off, because it's getting a bit, a bit crappy, really. It's starting to get real weak and another big hit in it I reckon and it'll start folding in so I'm going to completely redo the front bumper um, and then we got seat change to do we're going to whack a different seat in there now there's nothing else to do on it is there? What, this one? Yeah. Uh, no. Oh, this one? Yeah. Tidy up, set up. Yeah. Set it up for me. I think dad's going to have a go in this one sometime soon so that's why we're changing the seat. Um, we haven't got the plate for the side of the car yet, so I won't be, I'll probably cut that out ready, but we won't be able to put it in until we get a metal order in. So that's on hold, but plenty to do still. Yeah, we'll order it this week. Anyway. Ordering the metal this week. Yeah. Sweet. And then while I'm doing that, Dad's going to make a start. If you remember a couple of episodes ago, our trailer wasn't any good by the time we picked it up from the last time we used it. So Dad's going to have a look at the shoes. Have a look at the shoes now. Uh, need to order new brake lines for it. Uh, brake cables. Brake cables. Make sure the shoes are alright. Yeah. So I want to have a look at the end of the cables to make sure I get the right cable as well. Right. Uh, so just have to strip them down. See if I need any other parts. And then that trailer will be back on the road. Uh, Probably only taking one car to Eastbourne at the minute, but don't hold me to that. But that's the plan, take that red one. But we do need that other trailer on the road, because Dad, if no one else is in the car, then Dad's probably going to jump in one of the cars and give it a go again. So let's get to it. So these are my weapons of choice today. I've got the Artec Plasma Cutter and the Makita Angle Grinder. Uh, I like to use the Plasma Cutter first, because the bumper is... Are all under a lot of tension obviously where they bend and they don't snap they're under a lot of tension so as soon as you start putting a disc cutter through it <laughs> oh. as soon as you start putting a disc cutter through it it pings off everywhere bites your blade ends up hurting you or someone else or it's just i find it quite dangerous so i like to go around first with the plasma cutter cut off all the bits that i need to cut off and then do straight cuts after with the angle grinder um, the bumper, when you look at it, it don't actually look that bad, to be honest, from what I've, I'm used to racing with. But I know I can see a couple of weak bits there. As soon as I have a big one, it's going to shunt off into that chassis rail. As soon as it shut, hits that chassis rail, your chassis rail's bent. And as you can see from a few episodes ago, us doing the chassis rail on the red one, just click here to watch that video, um, it's a pain in the ass and it takes a long time because you, then you've got re got Then you... I've got to do engine mounts. Jesus, I can't spit out. Then you've got to do engine mounts, and it's just, oh, it takes a lot of time. So it's a lot easier if you just cut the bumper off when you think it needs it, put a new fresh bumper on. I'm going to stick it out a little bit further as well to give me a bit more play when I hit people. Um, so, yeah, that's, that's how it is. You just got to do it. As if we're doing what we're doing the other side there, I'll just... Yeah, you're just going to have to fill this fill out and you cut that off and then that'll fill your, that out. That'll be your turn now. Then plate all that and your bowl's coming off that. That's all you can do. Yeah. Solutions, not problems, eh? Yeah.
We need some gloves. We've got gloves in the van, haven't we? It's all right, I'll, I'll record it. Makes sense. I was going to take a photo of it, but I might as well record it. You've got a camera there. Facing right at it. You were going to take your phone off. Yeah, I was going to take the, just take the phone off, turn the video off, take use the phone to take a photo. Of where it goes. Yeah, and then put the video back on. You answered your own question. What a moron. So, this is meant to be on there, so that's the brake lining has come off the brake shoe. So, not only do I need brake cables, I need to order a load of brake shoes really. Um, and this is really thin. Maybe spring seem a bit rusty as well. See if they do a spring kit. Right, this winch is no good. So I need to replace that with something. Um, I want to buy a lock for the hitch as well. And this wheels collapsed and jockey wheel so that's not really fit for purpose oh and these I need some new catches latches whatever they're called this one's broken so I've been told if I get the details off this data plate, contact PRG, they send me, they know what cables it's got, what brake shoes and all the rest of it. And that'll do for today. Uh, I did manage to get all the bumper cut off, so that was a good start. Dad's got the seat out. I'm gonna have to refabricate the brackets for the seat, which is a bit of messing about, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Um, also, happy birthday to Dad. He's out here today, give me a hand on his birthday. 54. 64. <laughs> um, so yeah, 64. fair play to him for doing that. Um, yeah, it's just about to hit nine o'clock, so get a half decent night sleep tonight and uh, probably see you tomorrow. It's Wednesday, it's 20 past five. I'm here nice and early for once. So I'm gonna crack on with this front bumper I've just got to clean up any of the cuts that I've done yesterday that ain't cleaned up yet. I've got a few plates to cut and weld on there, all the bits I need plating. And then I'm going to bring out the two sides, get them out roughly to where I want them, and then I've got to start making the bumper on the floor.
de su madre. I'd bring them out further if the cuts are over here. Yeah, a bit more. This one's 32. That one's 28, so it could go out a bit. Just measure the same off on the top as the bottom there. Get your same cuts. Yeah, so if, if we square these. Tack them in, then put it on the floor. Yep. Sweet. That'll do for tonight. I've got moustache. <laughs> Dirty moustache. That'll do for tonight. Quarter past eight. Go home nice and early, sort of. Uh, we got as far as we wanted to today. Got the bumper sat on there. As we were just talking about, I'm going to tack these in next. Lay it on the floor, put our cuts in, ready for the bends. Cut them, bend them to the angle that we want. Tack that all up. We'll probably weld it all up. Then add all the uh, additional pieces, the 30 by 30 box section, rubbing iron. And then a couple of the harder bars, as I said to do in the last one. Uh, connect them up as well. Yeah, not a bad shift, not a bad shift at all. Now I've just got to tidy up. It's Friday, six o'clock. Me and Dad are both out here. We're gonna try, give it our best to finish the front bumper today. Hopefully we can do it, but we'll see how we go. Just a quick insight for anyone who don't actually know what's going on. We build the main bumper, as you can see here, and then we've got a crumple zone between our inner bars and our outer bars. And uh, we use 30 by 30 box section. What we're gonna do at first is use this to then level this outside bumper to make sure that that's still straight. And then we use 30 by 30 box section down here. We use four of them, one, two, three, four, which is all being backed up by other things inside. And then we'll have an extra two, one run in there, one run in here, back in the top up. And then we get, we've also got two, one that goes in there, the back's that corner up. And then we do the same on this side. Um, to say, if anyone wants to see this sort of stuff, then I can show more of it, of us actually doing it. But obviously to some people this would be everyone knows what they're doing and then some of you it won't but if you want to see more of this stuff then let us know in the comments but uh yeah so now i'm just gonna put this one on level it out and then once i know it's level i can start whacking all the others in and i know it's all plumbed then So that's how far we got today. Uh, it weren't a bad shift, to be honest. We um, we got all the, pretty much all the metal work on there, all the bars on there. We're missing a bit of 30 by 30, which we haven't got any left. So when I pick the metal up next week, uh, that will have 30 by 30 in that as well. So we're getting 40 by 40, a couple of bits of three mil, a couple of bits of four mil, 30 by 30, three mil, some plate to do the sides on this as well. Um, so I'm picking that up next week, some point, probably midweek, Wednesday or something like that. So then we can carry on with that. Um, I'm not gonna be here Saturday or Sunday, so 
that give us a chance to, well, we won't waste any time, will we? No. The uh, bits for the trailer haven't come yet, so I can't yeah. do that. So, not on a bit of a hold, but say I, I can, I'm not welding the rest of this up tonight, I'll do that tomorrow. Time's nine o'clock. So tomorrow? We, what was that? Are you coming tomorrow? No. Monday or Tuesday I'll be back to weld it up. But yeah, it's nine o'clock now, so I'm not, we're not going to bother doing anymore. We just had a tidy up. Um, we're just thinking as well, we've got to book the sign writer in for this, so we need to pick a date for that. That's going to be sometime after Eastbourne. We get the sign writer in. Um, hopefully he don't mind being filmed, because I want to get a time lapse or something of him sign writing the car. We've got paint to do before that as well, plus all the other bits. Uh, I'm planning to race this at Yarmouth, because we went so well there in this car last time. That was seems like a good idea. Yeah. We was on fire there last time. So we time. get this one ready for Yarmouth now. Yeah. And then uh, the red and black one's ready for um, Eastbourne. It's actually quite a nice feeling having that, having a car sat there, ready to go. God knows how how long we got. Well, eight days, but it's been ready for nearly a week now, or well, coming up <coughs> to a week. Which is not normal. No, in stock cars where we don't get an off season as well. We in the offs normally. I think normal racing you race till about November till Mo and then come back on March. But Speedworth, we seem to not have a winter break, so get one. One meet in a month. Yeah, something like that. Over the winter. So we're still racing all throughout the winter. And if you don't, if you're trying to chase points, or try and stand up there in the points, then you have to do them. You have to go there and do the winter meetings. But we don't mind. I say it's nice. It would be nice to have the winter off, but keeps you busy. Just don't give you any time to. It's easier now. We've got a few cars though. Yeah, I suppose. I think. I suppose. You can do a bit of a rebuild on one while you're racing the other one. Yeah, so you get we get normally a month off in the, in the winter, month to month. And then, as I say, from the 25th at Eastbourne, it's probably going to be every two weeks. And then you have a couple where it's one week turnovers. But, no, it's good. Um, we had a good shift on it, to be honest. Uh, this is probably going to be the end of the episode, episode five, done and dusted. Say so if you could like, comment and subscribe, I appreciate it. I'm down in the comments replying to everyone. Subscribers are climbing up, the views are climbing up. It's showing us that, it's, well, it's egging, yeah, it's all it's egging, us, on, yeah. egging us on to keep, keep producing videos, really, because they do take time. Um, it's a bit of messing about trying to get all the footage, but everyone seems to be liking it, so we're going to carry on doing it. And on that note, that's the end of the episode, and I'll see you in the next one.